shiver my timber, shiver my soul. Yo ho we yo. Dun 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 na na na. Yo ho we yo. Hey guys, how's it going? So as I've said before, um, winner of today's or yesterday's I guess Twitter poll is Muppet Treasure Island in a stunning 50% of the vote and coming in last place is Tarzan's action game which was really funny because before I gave it that boost I was like oh dang nobody's voting for Tarzan nobody's shown Tarzan some love and I think at least one person showed up for Tarzan and I want to appreciate that that person that showed up for Tarzan um, <laughs> but you know what? No, the, today is Muppet Treasure Island. And, um, from last stream, it's been very enjoyable. It's very FMV. It's like mist with Muppets almost not as possible, not really as confusing as mist too. Um, but it's really fun. It's been really fun so far. Um, apparently, um, the actors, I mean, Tim Curry is back as Long John Silver. We haven't met him yet. And then um, Billy Conley was back as Billy Bones. I think that was, yeah, Billy Bones. And it was really great. Um, he, all he did was just literally run around a green screen, and it was fun. But yeah, and we had a parrot, and it was going to be a good time. So before I start, I'm going to shrink my um, camera down just a smidge, bitch. Because I want you guys to see some of the elements. Just a smidge of the elements while also seeing my wonderful face. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? Getting some last minute Christmas preparation stuff? I know I need to. Um, but yeah, I still have some Christmas presents to do. But I'd rather not do them. I want to play Muppet Treasure Island, dang it. So that's what I'm doing. All right. There we go. Do, 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 Wow, okay, I I was just gonna, maybe I just need to do the settings in the other one, okay. Um... Hey, Hawkins, nice to see you again! Ah! Ah! If you want to start an adventure from the very beginning, tap the new button. If you want to load... Okay, we know how to load games and stuff. Tap the um, button. I mean, yeah, at some point I'm going to play it, but world, this is what won the Twitter poll, the so I'm going to be I'm gonna be putting that first and foremost. Also, welcome the to the stream, Jaycott. And also, hello to you, um, the IT and Fit. At least that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Now, I wonder. So, last thing I had. What's that? I just wanted to mess with the settings. I guess it just started from there. Okay. Well, that's cool. I think. Now we need a ship. Why? Yes, I know. Hawkins, behind me is the Hang on. I'm just gonna try to. Woo. Okay, there we go. Whoa, extreme close up. Okay, Hawkins. Okay, so there's no settings in here to change, so we're just gonna. Alrighty, so unfortunately, it's gonna sound kind of bleh. So let's go get some clothes. 
because we're covered in molasses. Hey there! You look like you can use bones. some new clothes. Come on in! And he eats them. With a plastic water bottle and a paper towel brawl. Welcome. Welcome. Not to be rude, but uh, <clears throat> that flung out of a burning building landing in a vegetable truck covered by a molasses look went out of style last year. Oh no. How about we make But it's video? my favorite style. I like being I like looking like I look like molasses. If you keep them parts away from my store, you can earn enough for one of my Monsieur Edward specials over here. I'll pay you one. Who wants to look like an astronaut and wants to look like a cra crown? And it looks like we also got Donald Trump Jr. kind of thing right here. This is the song. La 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 la. Emma eats sauce. The anti buccaneer lunch launcher. The anti buccaneer something launcher. It's an arrow launcher. Okay. So it looks like this is gonna be like an aiming game. Is, is there, I think I'm missing the point of this game. No, no, I wasn't supposed to. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on. Ooh, ooh, oh! There you are, Mr. Pops. The oh, it's Bucks and a Meter! The Buccaneer Lunch Launcher should now be in full that fucking order. Did he say full fucking we order? Indeed. Well, much obliged, Doc. Maybe now I can keep those fires well, away asses. from my store. Why, they wreak havoc, they kill it, they burn things, and sometimes they don't even hang things up after trying them on. That's like the worst retail offender right there. <laughs> okay, am I supposed to, like... Hang on. Okay, here's how you do it. You put the pie on the launcher and use the red button. And remember, hit the pirate, not the parrot. Pirate, parrot, pirate. Get like the lamp, it? not the rat. Like, like the lamp, button. not the rat. <laughs> okay. So we put the pie in the launcher. Is there somebody that's supposed to be walking by? Okay, here we go. Missed him. Give him another shot. Okay. There we go. That's a pirate, right? Nice shooting. Nice shooting. Light the joint, not the rat. Okay. Is Pops gonna do this all the time? Okay. No, that's 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 Bunsen. my eye on you. That's a pirate. It's not flat fuck Friday today. Got him. Okay, this is actually kind of simple. I thought this was gonna be hard. That just seems like a cool guy. You can tell by the music. Beaker, I'm not gonna shoot a pie at Beaker, that's not nice. Treasure pie land. Oh, here we go, here's a pirate. 
Goodbye. Oh, it's one of the. Not that, bad. That's one of the uh, ones from. Um, shoot. But I've seen them in Muppet Haunted Mansion. They're cool. The, the little the the bones. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, goat. Got another. Got another. Okay, we're not gonna hit this nice lady. She's dressed like a Revolutionary War reenactor. I guess this is technically the pirates. Muppets. Bingo! Bingo! So we're gonna hit at least ten. Hey, Listen, I, it's nothing personal, world. but if there's scary music that follows you, you are probably a pirate, and I need to hit you with a pie. I'm sorry. Okay, like you. Again, it's nothing personal. I have to hit you with the pie. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's another pirate. Back for some more pie, huh? <laughs> I pirate this movie. 10 out of 10. Lobster. No. Okay, come back here. There we go. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's not a, yeah, you're right. It's not a practical thought. It's fun though. Uh hey, molasses. Get a load of yourself in the mirror. Looks like you need some new clothes. Pop's cash register shows which outfits you can afford. <laughs> it looks like I'm moving around covered in molasses. But I would throw so many pies. Let's see, should we do a business suit? A space suit? You know, we're going to Fozzie's house. I feel like he would enjoy the clown suit. us and now we're ready to eat children so okay so I guess what I'm guessing now is I have to go over to exit the store and go to the things Right, Muppets. Hey, Hawkins, nice clown outfit. Early in the galley now. <laughs> I'll bet the squire would be tickled to see that. <laughs> the squire would be. <laughs> yeah, he would. He's Fozzie. Thanks for helping out. Hope to see you again. Okay, thank you. Yep, we haven't even seen Tim Curry yet. I'm still waiting on Tim Curry. Okay. I've already seen that. But yeah, we should all throw pies at Bunsen because of the abuse he gave Beaker. Beaker didn't deserve that. Splendid! You're wearing a Monsieur Edouard original. There we go. The squire is away on business, but his half-wit son will see you. Master Trelawney, these visitors say they have something to show you. Here we go. Oh, boy, show and tell. Steve, <laughs> send them on up. These 
choir will receive you now. Please proceed. We are waiting with Anne Tissa. Hello there. What can I do for you? Wait, I know. You've come to buy my latest brainstorm. It will change the world. It's I love the little paintings in the background. I That's really cute. Chicken. And there's Fozzie as King Henry the Eighth. No, wait. Let me get a quill. Ah. Hey, the squire wants to play show and tell. Now you know what to show him, don't you? The compass, no. right? Right? I Wrong. thought it was the... <laughs> you show him the map. Oh, I, was I thought and I was going to show him my cool him. clown outfit so that we can go to the Tim Curry convention. Wow, the map. The, treasure the map. To treasure planet. Tell you what. You have the map. I have Did I say treasure planet? <laughs> partners. Here's the official Trelawney seal of passage. Show it to Mr. Arrow, and he'll let you That makes sense, because apparently, um, I heard that... Okay. Here we are. Oh, that's a seal. Okay, I get it. Ha ha ha. But yeah. Is it? <laughs> Thanks for the seal, Squire. A Hawkins and I'll meet you at the boat. I guess it would be, oh, wouldn't it? Boy. I want to. I think at least one of these paintings is in, is in like the hey, Muppet Vision queue. I'm going on a trip. Pack my whoopee cushions. Pack See my whoopee cushions. Come on. <laughs> oh, you can come too. But yeah, from what I heard, um, because Frank Oz was directing a lot of his own projects around the time that this was made, um, a lot of the stuff was dubbed later. But yeah, it was puppeteered by somebody else, and then Frank Oz, you know, dubbed it later because, again, he was, like, busy doing his director projects. Okay. Where does this go? Hawkins, come on in. Hawkins, come great. on in. Let's see a little spark of imagination. Oh, this looks like a bunch of mini games. Anyway, I don't feel like going on in. I'm just as a clown. I'm gonna go to the ship. I want to go see Tim Curry. Come on, Hawkins! They're getting ready. Come on, to sail. Hawkins! <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to pack Whoopi Goldberg, you can have your own little California adventure. Huh. I'm clever. Ah, ah. Oh, I love the Janice one. I love the little Janice little cutout. That's cute. I mean, of course, you got the Statler and Waldorf. That tracks. I'll meet you on board in a few minutes. But yeah, I like, I love Janice as a mermaid. For sure. For sure. No. And that's really sad. Oh, here we go. Here's our man, Sam the Eagle. You know, I was just thinking about this. So, uh, a very, what was that Christmas special where it's like, if Kermit wasn't born, like, 9-11 wouldn't happen or something? I think it was like, um, a very Muppet Christmas or something. Anyway, it was like a prestige show on a... Anyway, there was like a scene... It's the scene where there's Cave, da cave Dancing Scooter. And like... Or Cave Dancing Scooter. Yeah, very Muppet... Very Merry Muppet Christmas. Thank you, Micah. Um, yeah, it's the scene where there's the Cage Dancing Scooter. Yeah, it's a very Merry Muppet Christmas movie. The Cage Dancing Scooter scene. It's like a rave scene as well. And I think in that scene... Um, there's Sam the Eagle just, like, dancing away with a binky. Well, like, at raves, you, sometimes, you know, it, like, you can, like, I, I think the, what I'm going for is Sam the Eagle was on ecstasy <laughs> during that scene. Um, and I find that very personally funny, and now I can't look at Sam the Eagle 
like in the way that I used to look at Sam the Eagle. Really? Huh. Here we go. It's Sam the hang on, what's in here? Woo! Woo hoo! Woo -hoo. Same. Oh. Don't walk away from me. Oh, there you are. Mm -hmm. I can see that you have the Trelawney Seal of Passage. You have obviously found favor yeah. with the squire. Welcome you have found favor with the squire. The official seal. Right? Speaking of whoopies. The CD you want looks oh, here like we this. go. So, because I don't have the visible copy, control F4. Captain, I'd like to officially welcome there you he aboard is. the Hispaniola. I the heard Hispaniola. some really great things about you from the squire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I sense wearing that it? you have what it takes to be a sailor, but you have much to learn about the sea. As such, I have arranged a and series of And he's still wearing a clown outfit, I think. Sure to help you become a full-fledged sailor. A full-fledged sailor. Okay, well, what are they? Oh, okay. So, Hawkins, as part of your training, you must do the following. What do I have to do? Help Mr. Silver in the galley, load the jolly boat, fire the cannon, weigh the anchor, and build your own ship model. After you've finished all your lessons, come see me at the helm, and I'll show you how to steer the okay. Hispaniola to Treasure Island. I know. I, if anything, I just want to be down with Tim Curry. So, okay, thank you, Kermit, or Captain Kermit. Yeah, Kermit sounds very stone. Where is he at? There he is! The guy Billy Bones warned us about. He's got one leg. So what? But so he's my I. father. Yeah, he's gonna be my father figure. One next to it. <gasps> there he is! The Hawkins. Long John Silver is my name. I'm making an apple dumpling and could use your help. I'll help you. With apples. You're a fine sort, Elvin old Long John. Stop! Stop! You can get a Stop! When you're done. <laughs> Do I have to? Rizzo. That is unsanitary. Well, I found the rest of the VeggieTales cast, so I guess the pirates who don't do anything could feasibly show up. Rizzo! Like you've got a ways to go with those apples. Ring the bell to call me when the pot's full, okay, mate? Thank you. A parrot on a shoulder? <laughs> now I've seen everything. I'm going back to my perch. Okay, fine. Okay, there we go. Parried on a shoulder. Rizzo! <sighs> Swear, if that rat shows up, you should be eaten alive. You son of a 
a bitch. I'm... I'm going to kill this rat. Oh my gosh, how do I get, how do I get apples? Okay, no! Rizzo, quit it! Rizzo! Apples coming, Hawkins, I'm on a roll! <laughs> I'm trying to do something nice! trying to do something nice for Tim Curry and you're ruining it. Are those enough apples, my lord? Rat doing in my pie? We're not having rat pie till Tuesday. <laughs> I'd like a pie full of apples, not rats. Thank you very much, okay, mate? <sighs> How am I supposed to get Rizzo out of the pie? Hang on. Parrot. Hey, hey, Major Yum. This is the galley, the place where they keep the food. <laughs> and speaking of food, it's time for a cracker break. A parrot on a sh A parrot on a shoulder? Yeah, get out of there. Meanie. Oh, look at that. We did something nice for Tim Curry. There we go. Rizzo is, yeah, Rizzo has been banned from the Garden of Eden. Okay, so now we gotta go back. I think. Excellent job, Hawkins. You did a fine job Excellent helping Mr. Job. Silver. You're cooking now. <clears throat> so it looks like what we need to do next. Go ah, ahead. this oh okay so we did the pie load the jolly boat load the jolly boat okay so we need to load the jolly boat I think we no, wait. gonzo I love you but I'm trying to figure out what I do next so Rizzo I love you no, I don't love you because you're being a meanie. Okay, I Hawkins! Use my nose to help lift the crates into the jolly boat. Just move the crates into position. <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna take the crates. Wait. Hey! You're coming with us! Yeah? There we go. There we go. Okay, now I know. That's a nose full. <laughs> Gonzo. This kind of looks like an animation out of a uh, Monty Python sketch. Hey, this loading of the jolly boat sure feels good. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh no! 
Now we're all gonna get sick. I've heard of keeping one's nose to the grindstone, but this is ridiculous. Ha ha ha. Get it? Nose to grindstone. There we go. Okay, so now we gotta look at the Did you find anything heavier? No. That does it. Ooh. Good work, Hawkins. Thank Thanks you. Thanks to you, the Jolly Boat is loaded with the provisions. Jolly Boat. The, ho the Jolly Thanks Roger Boat. Oh. If you seem to recall, it was me who got his nose bent out of shape. Oh, you didn't. We forget. You weren't forced to do that, Gonzo. You chose to do that. Okay, so we loaded. Ah, Thank you. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Way the anchor. Way the anchor. Let's weigh the anchor. Let's see how we weigh the anchor. Which way do we weigh? Do we weigh the anchor over here? Okay. Yeah, I'd like to remind you that one of your lessons is you weigh the anchor. Oh, that, that, that's okay, Mr. Harrell. I already weighed it. It weighs 367 and three quarter pounds. Uh... Very well. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but it will have to do. But it will have to do. Frank Oz talking to himself again. Did I weigh the anchor? So you're gonna trust that halfwit to weigh the anchor? Hoist it up, Hawkins! <laughs> we found a submarine! A very standing, Hawkins! I hear you and the squire have weighed the anchor in magnificent fashion. We now can safely anchor the Hispaniola when we get to Treasure that's, Island. That's a... That submarine looked very cartoonishly out of place. Hang on. Oh, I feel bluer than the ocean. <laughs> you look greener than the captain. I guess that's Bono's submarine right there. He lives in a cartoon submarine. It's not a yellow one. It's the best we're gonna do. Beautiful day for sailing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I just want to get through these tasks. Thank you. Okay. What's next? Fire the cannon. Fire the cannon. Sorry, Kermit. I gotta fire the cannon, so I gotta go find the cannon in order to fire the cannon. Oh, wait. I think the cannon's on the other side. There we go. Is oh, the cannon's... That's the cannon. Is that the cannon? There we go. Greetings, Kevin Mate Hawkins. It is, is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to the Cannon Blaster the Pro. The Cannon Blaster the Project. The cannon we've ever made. Actually, it's the only cannon we've ever made. <laughs> According to the captain, you need to learn how to fire the cannon. Give yep. me a call if you need any instructions. Come on, Beaky, it's time for our next experiment. Come on, my experiment slave. Okay. I guess. Oh, now I see.
Oh, close one. Now I understand. Okay. Right? I don't. My, doctor, do you think it's crabby enough, though? We did it! Okay. That was what we were supposed to do, right? <laughs> Dr. Vile should have had that as a cannon. Oh, okay, now I see. Okay. And it's become a TARDIS! There it goes! Okay. Alrighty, now I see where we're going. There we go. We're nicely done, Hawkins. Nicely you fired done, that cannon Hawkins. like a seasoned deckhand. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Okay. Well, I'm assuming I did a good job, so I'm gonna look at what I need to do last. There we go. God, my mouse is going all over the place. No. Wait. Wait. Build your own ship model. Right? This. <laughs> Build your own ship model. I love how there's a little hidden pirate flag right there. I like to know one thing, Mr. Carroll. Yes, sir. Who hired this crew? This is without a doubt the seediest lot of cutthroats, villains, and scoundrels I have ever seen. It was me. I they wouldn't go along the without the Tim Curry, so it was in his contract. I had to hire them. I'm sorry, Kermit, take. but it was either like Tim Curry or nobody. I know, Mr. Arrow. How about one lash and we make him walk the plank 40 times? No what? lashes and no planks. One lash, no planks. How about a stern talking to a stern and a couple talking of shame on you? That's more like it. Good That's day, Mr. Arrow. Like Good it. day. Mm. Oh. Okay, but am I supposed to build my boat here? What am I supposed to do? Wow. Look! This is the frog captain's desk. Whatever you do, don't touch a thing. <laughs> okay. Hi ho, Hawkins. Here's a little game I picked up oh, on my travel. It's Mao Zhang Tiles. When ships want to communicate, they wave flags like the ones you see before you. Match the flags on my desk, and we'll see what stories they have to tell. One simple rule. You can only match a flag that is free on either its left or right side. Go ahead. Give it a go. So this is Mao Zhang Tiles. This, this looks like fun. Oh. Oh, now I see. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Ha ha ha. We're doing it. We're making it happen. Also love this little picture of Miss Piggy. It's really nice. Okay. Well, we're gonna reset. Um, I get easily sucked into Maojung tiles, so fair warning. <laughs> it's gonna send me going. Uh, anyway. Sc 
Scotland. Okay, looks like we need to reset again. Okay, this is going to be my last time, I swear, playing Mahjong Tiles. Dag, nab. Stuff's addicting. That was what, hey. There we go. Three. Living the dream. There. Finally, sheesh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Third time's the charm. And we get a nice little picture. I love that. I love this. That's cute. Okay. All right. That was awesome. So I guess we don't build our ship in here. So maybe we build our ship on top. I feel like singing like a little British boy. The real ship is the friends that were built along the way. Those friendships! Okay, well, where do we build the ship then? Hey, pal, climb on up. The view is first. This is your choice. Build your own ship model. But where do I build my own ship model? Ah, go ahead, mate. Climb on up. No, thank you. Stevenson. You know, I bet if you do what the frog captain says, you'll get to sail the ship. How do I know that? Because it's the destiny of every... Okay. But where am I going to build the ship? Model. And Billy Bone said you were the one to fear. He said what? Well, he doesn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> Is it behind me? No, it's not in the captain's quarters. Can we ask this guy? Okay, no, he's just gonna growl at me. Okay, uh... Tim Curry, help me! Hmm, could be a storm brewing. I'd suggest we keep our eyes open.
Okay. So, I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna... Sorry. Gonna do a little bit of cheating. Muppet Treasure Island Game Walk. There we go. Okay, give me just a second. There goes the goat guy. Okay, now I know where to go. stuff but it was just looking for the cannon or not cannon but we're looking for the ship stuff so to build a ship the rear of the ship is called the stern so and we the need stern also happens to describe the stern. Mr. Arrow, our distinguished first mate the captain's quarters where we are now is located in the stern on this ship The main yep. body of the ship is called the I love the build a ship the workshop. Ship. You're right, Captain. That's a hull of a ship. Ah. I'll give you that hull. The main deck is found uh. on the top of the hull and ah. runs the length of the ship. Ah. The front of the ship is called the bow. That's the front. Did you say bow? Like a bod. Uh, the bow has that nifty shape to help the ship pass through the water easily. So we are learning so much about ships today. The tall pole in the center of the deck is called the main mast. Towards the top of the main mast is the crow's nest. And uh, no, Squire, it's not for crows. It's for sailors Dang. to get a great view of the horizon. I thought it was for the crows. Yeesh. So now what okay, do we do? Hawkins, I suggest you open the drawers to take a look at your different model pieces. Then just tap the piece you want and it will snap into place. Once all the pieces are together, tap the ship to see it from different oh, angles. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so click on the ship. Okay. Right. Wait a minute. Do I have to start all the rear of Yes, the rear of the ship. The uh, the middle of the ship. The front of the ship. The tall pole. The tall pole in the. The tall pole toward the rear of the deck is called the mizzen mast. Oh, okay. So that was I miss. Oh. Located at oh, the base of the stern okay. is the rudder. Okay. The rudder now I understand. Helps guide the ship through the water. Without its rudder. Did someone say right? Located at the stern is the helm. That's the raised area from which you steer. Okay. That's the cargo hold. Cargo hold. The small I was wondering about those. The side like, of the what ship were is they? Called... 
attached to most valves is an intricate wood carving. We did it! Yay! I know how to build things! I swear! Look at this baby go! Woo! <laughs> Squeaky! Some more mahjong. Let's go play another round of mahjong tiles. This is what you all came to see, right? Mahjong tile stuff. And this is an easy round. Well, deceptively easy. Now we can sail off. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Night sure descends fast around here. What a beautiful evening for stargazing. Hey, look, it's a PS5. Yeah, I was hoping you'd make it up here. Care to take a guided tour of the northern sky? It's not a Sega Pico for you to play the northern sky. I was wondering if walking was good. Care to take a gander at the stars? Yes, it please. It's a beautiful night for sky watching. I don't recall inviting you up here, Mr. Silver. And I'm sorry, but I was just about to guide Hawkins through the stars myself. Well, what a shame. How about we let Hawkins gander? Well, you know who I'm gonna go with. Ah, oh, the sky's just jumping with stars, man. Ah, uh, yes, it Flip is. Flip yourself that has told such jewels. Take a gander. The way I see it, mate, the night sky is like a sea, and the stars are like ships floating upon its calm waves. Sometimes the stars form patterns. Smart folks call them constellations. You can keep talking about this all Wait, you want, Tim Curry. I'm listening. And I'll tell you what I've learned through all my years. Oh, please. Can you tell me what that is? Wait, before we do... That's a lollipop! Lila, the liar, the musician of the night sky. He ah. serenades the seekers of fortune and adventure. Listen for his song, Hawkins. Doom, 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 doom. Connecting the dots with Tim Curry. And this is obviously Big Dipper and Little you Dipper. You found it, matey. Ursa Major. Ah ha. Ha. Some call it the Big Dipper because it also looks like a soup spoon. And then there's ah, the Little Dipper. Leave it to an old sea cook to know that, eh, Hawkins? I like this. This is nice. I know the audio is a little out of whack, but that's fine. Orion, the heavenly hunter, a giant among men. They say he had a suit of armor. That's not animal, gold. is it? No, that can't Sounds be animal. Sounds like a suit I might like to alter for myself, don't oh, it? Oh, Floyd. Oh, okay, that's Floyd. Okay. No, no, the other one was Floyd. I don't know. Sure, if it wasn't like all Blair. Pegasus, the great flying horse. 
Nice. But this don't is believe everything you horse. hear, Hawkins. From here, he looks like a goat. Ah. Pretty sure this music would be nice if, like, I knew how to edit sound settings in DOS box. Hercules. Got He's Hercules. known now as a great hero, but he was once a man. Killed his own children in a fit of madness, I hear. But don't you worry about madmen. Don't Long you worry. Protect you from harm. Oh, please, Long John, protect me from harm. I, I thought he was gonna say, Honey, you mean hunkily. <laughs> no, but I thought he was gonna say, But don't you worry. Disney's gonna clean up his image soon enough, I hear. Because this was before the Hercules, the Disney Hercules movie, I want to say, by at least a year. Perseus, the hero. A gentleman and it's Tim Curry. He might have been. The, no, wait. Perseus killed the snake-haired Gorgon Medusa, who could turn men to stone with just one glance. Is that implying that they Kermit is Medusa? He did it for love, but he may have done it for profit. A hero? Who can say? But legend has it that he was indeed a sea cook. <laughs> okay, so I thought he was a... Uh... What a beautiful night. Sweet dreams, Hawkins. Thank you, Kermit. Love you. Good night, Hawkins. Good night, Tim Curry. a big day, and a sailor must be well rested. Follow me. Oh, thank you. You there, wake up and go to sleep. What? You there, you are snoring in a what? no snoring zone. What? Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Is that a blanket? Here we are, Huckins. Your luxurious sleeping quarters. Oh, now I see we're behind him. Good night, Hawkins. You did an excellent job today. The captain was very pleased with your performance. Is he trapping me in a barrel? Aren't you gonna tuck us in? First mates, do not tuck in. Good night. Tuck me Good in, night, Sam. Hawkins. Good night, Hawkins. Good night, Gonzo. Good night, Rizzo. Good night, Gonzo. Good night, Hawkins. Good night, Rizzo. Good night, Good night Stevenson. Stevenson. Good night, Stevenson. Some quarters. I hate this. Not so fast, Hawkins. Go to sleep. Okay, well, I don't know how to go to sleep. Sheesh. <laughs> Is that how I snore? Hey, hey Hawkins, wake up! I think I hear something. I hear the pirates roar. Arr. I say we kill the captain now, along with that Hawkins and the other feet. Oh, don't kill me, please. Could you do this to me? Said, we go ashore and find the treasure. How could this Why happen to me? I made my mistakes. Tim Curry is betraying my trust. I guess we're sleeping inside a barrel. Why those little worms? And speaking of worms, I'm hungry. Where's breakfast? <laughs> I knew this crew was rotten to the core. We should 
go warn the captain. Let's go. Get yeah. when we can. Was I sleeping in a barrel? Could I fit in that barrel? Why was Tim Curry giving me a knowing glance? Either way. Going back up to the quarter. And then he said they would steal the treasure for themselves and return to the ship to get Hey Gonzo, quiet. maybe don't it's Thank too you. horrible to bear. This situation calls for heroes. Right. Pastrami, Swiss, hold the mayo. Let's go. Yeah, and hot chilies on mine. Hmm. I knew this silver wasn't to be trusted. Thank you. Let me think about this for a moment. Let me think about this for a moment. If we let him and his cohorts go ashore in the jolly boat, we'll be free to take the Hispaniola back to Bristol and leave them stranded on Treasure Island. But then now, they'll get the treasure. Things first. Hmm. Okay, Hawkins, we've got to get to Treasure Island. Now, you and your friends have proven able and trustworthy sailors. I am therefore entrusting you with the honor of steering the Hispaniola to Treasure Island and setting our plan in motion. I shall be at your side as your navigator. Listen sharp. And together we'll see this through. Okay, well, we're we'll navigate to Treasure Island, and then we're I looking think toward the bow. The left side of the ship is point. called the port side, and the port side of our helm is colored red. When looking toward the bow, the right side of the ship is called the starboard side. Okay, the so starboard left side is of red. our helm is colored green, which green happens to be right. your captain's favorite color. I really sure. like the starboard side. I like now, the starboard side because I like Island. being right. When I call out a direction, turn the helm to the correct position. A little more to the starboard side. Okay. You're sailing now. A little more to the port side. Oh no, there's an iceberg! Watch out! I don't want to hit it. I remember the last time something... Good job! A little more to the port side. It is on the port side. You're sailing now! You're A sailing now! to the starboard side. A little more to the port side. Good job. Good job. A little more to the port side. Ah. A little more to the port side? You mean like the city in Arizona? The one that you passed before getting into Blythe? Sailing now. You're sailing now. We did it. We're at Treasure Island. Woohoo! I feel like there should have been more to this. I want to get cabin fever. And ho! Hawkins, you did it. You Hawkins, steered the you did it. over to Treasure Island. You Great steered job, it to sailor. Treasure now, Island. Now let's get the crew into action. All hands on deck. steered at Treasure Island, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and save. This is the MPZ-1000. Woohoo! The latest in high technology. Now you can use the MPZ to print out coloring pages oh. of scenes from the game. Wait a minute. Is that supposed to be us? That doesn't look like me. Sorry, I meant to hit save. Now where you say your adventure. There we go. And then we're gonna quit. Oh, leaving so soon. 
If you really want to leave, just... There we go. If you want to... All right. Hey, Hawkins. Hope to see you again. Yeah, we'll pick this back up at another stream. Just quit. All right. Okay. So, that was a little bit more of a Muppet Treasure Island. It's getting to be pretty fun. Some of it is a little bit tedious and kind of hard to understand. Um, I think maybe for the next stream, I'm going to go in. I'm going to try to see what's causing this. I wonder if it's something. I, I'm not really sure what could be causing like the dip, 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 dip. It might have something to do with the DOS box settings, um, but I'm not that literate in how to change settings in DOS box because I literally just, because I, I don't like, I'm not sure how to describe it really, but I try to open up DOS box and it just opens up the game. So maybe I need to turn down some settings and something else, or I don't know. Um, but either way, um, there's probably going to be a stream maybe Monday night. Um, we'll see how things are. Um, but definitely look for more stuff this week. Um, I'm looking to do maybe some Christmassy games coming up soon because this week is Christmas! That's coming up. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so um, again, check out my Discord if you want some more info or if you want to suggest any games. Um, and then if you have like any like other, if, or if you just want to chat or something in Discord, you can always join my Discord. And then you can always follow my Twitter for more shenaniganery at ghoulishgabs. So give me a follow and give me some suggestions or what have you and yeah thanks for thanks for tuning in um yeah um stay safe wear seat belts don't do drugs happy holidays bye guys